Hello, Mr. Barton here, and welcome to another video um, on diagnostic questions. Now, in the previous video, we looked at how we could use the insight section to get a real in-depth analysis of a particular student's understanding in our class. And I used the example of Caitlin from my year 11 class last year. What I'm gonna look at in this video is how we can compare how students have performed over time. And crucially, that's gonna give us an idea of the levels of progress um, or the amount of progress that they've made. And that's really useful, right? I mean, that might be useful for, for me as a teacher just to get a sense of how far a child's come. It'll be useful for the student themselves to see the progress they've made. It could be useful at parents' evening, could be useful in performance management, any kind of scenario like that. So let me show you how you do this. Now you'll need to be up to speed um, from the previous video in how you get to this page and how you pick an individual student. At the moment I've got Caitlin selected, um, no offense to Caitlin, I'm gonna bin her off there, give her a little delete. Um, and I'm gonna find another student. So I'm gonna click compare, I'm going to find a student from Caitlin's class and I'm going to go for Amy. And what I'm interested in is changing this. So um, the, if I leave it on all time, it's going to show me every single question that, that Amy's ever answered. Um, but I've got all these filters in place. Now, because this is my year 11 classroom at a previous year, I'm, I'm going to need to do a little custom date here, but that's absolutely fine. So what I'm going to go for here is I'm going to go for the 1st of September. Uh, so this will have been flipping out. <laughs> have to go back in time a fair bit here so ooh, flipping out that's involving times so let's go back to 1st of September 2015 and I'm interested in how she did from that particular date until let's say the Christmas holidays now just to give you a little bit of context um, this class were um, was struggling kind of with confidence and morale and stuff at the start of the year so I did a lot of work with them them identifying areas of weakness and so on at, at the start of the year so let's have a look so we can see there that there's Amy's levels of understanding now the uh, more green the area the, the higher the level of understanding and um, the more red and yellow the area the lower the level of understanding because it's based on a percentage of questions asked wrong uh, that, that um, Amy's answered so you can see quite a few areas of weakness quite a few areas that we need to develop um, if we click the tick, then it's going to hone in um, on those particular areas and it's going to show me um, all kinds of questions that, that Amy herself has answered. Okay. Now, but what about uh, how far Amy's progressed? So now we're going to go to compare. And I'm going to stick with Amy here, but this time I'm going to change my dates. So instead of having um, from the 1st of September, let's go to the 1st of January 2016. And let's go right up until Amy sat her GCSE. So let's say uh, the 1st of June 2016. And let's see what that looks like. So I click go. And fingers crossed, that's going to give me a comparison here. Now, what's interesting about this is, well, we can draw lots of parallels. I mean, you may think, flipping out, this is a lot, lot more yellow. But of course, we can see that that's because Amy's answered a lot more questions. And we can see that she's still got particular areas of weakness. And if we select that, then we start to see areas of strength, areas of weakness, um, and all the different questions that, that Amy's answered on a particular uh, topic there. So if you want kind of a visual representation of how far an individual student's come and how far they still need to go, then this comparing over time I think is a particularly useful thing to do. In future videos I'm going to take a look at how we can do a similar thing with classes and also how we can compare two students together which I find particularly useful. But we'll save that for another video. Take care, bye for now.